Hi, my name is Bryson Carter. I'm a lifelong Clemson fan. I was diagnosed as a teenager, maybe 15 or 16 years old, with retinitis pigmentosa. When I was in high school, I started noticing changes in my eyesight. Slowly over time, I've continued to lose more eyesight. When I started my freshman year at Clemson, I was getting to the point where it was becoming very difficult to read regular print, but eventually, I continued to lose more and more eyesight. It became more difficult to get around campus, more difficult to get to class. Life became more frustrating as I continued to lose more eyesight. Eventually, I discontinued my degree program. I wanted to be as quote unquote normal as possible, whatever that is. So even though I couldn't see, I still wanted to go to the football games. I've been to 136 consecutive Clemson football games. You want to be involved in any way you can to be a part of Clemson, and not just football, but Clemson, so. Some of us have to be a part of that in different ways, and I just, I just love football, and so thankful I get to be a fan. Before, I attended the Louisiana Center for the Blind. I did not have the confidence to walk around on my own. I was embarrassed to be losing my eyesight. The Hill was the easiest place for me to go as a student. Not only is that where they put the students, but even after that, that's still where I wanted to be. It's all I had known and going to the football games, and it made the most sense, practically. There were no stairs to maneuver, there was no seat number to try and find, and not being able to see the action on the field. I'm so thankful to Tim Willis, the Voice of Tiger Band, and the game announcer, Dale Gilbert, because for me they paint such a picture of what is going on between them announcing over the PA system and the band and the roar of the crowd and of course if we score the cannon firing I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I'm very thankful that I'm able to enjoy a football game even if I cannot see it the way I used to be able to. The longest trip that I've ever taken was to the Fiesta Bowl this past year. I decided to take the bus from Columbia, where I currently live, to Phoenix and back. Even though it doesn't seem like spending four days on the bus would be easier, it really was. Uh, but I love it. I love traveling. I love all the people I've met, all the experiences I've had. I've been very fortunate and blessed to follow my passion, which is Clemson football. I'm so thankful I was able to witness Clemson win the national championship. And besides that, I just want to be back in Clemson. Just to live and work in Clemson, there's nothing like it. This is the best place. This is where I want to be. What's up, Bryson? Hey man, I'm right here. You ain't gonna get up. How are you, brother? Thank you for everything you've done for Clemson. Yeah, man. If I could quickly, I know you time is done. Sit there, sit Here you are, and you're continuing to live your life to the fullest and chase your passions and the things that you love to do and enjoy. It's inspiring. And when you're dealing with a bunch of young people, it's such a breath of fresh air to have that type of inspiration to get. So I thank you for giving me the opportunity to inspire our team. And you probably see better than a lot of people whose eyes, their vision is perfect because of your, the way you feel and hear and, uh, and your passion and love for it. So again, I thank you for that inspiration. I'm, I want, we're going to take you down and introduce you to the team here in a minute. Uh, but I showed them, I think, is, now make sure I got it right, it's 136 games in a row and you rode a bus from here to Arizona. And you talked about how much fun that was.